How's it going everyone? Paul and Bez are back again for the Craft Sippers. Oi, oi. Got another craft beer review for you. Paul, straight into it mate, what we got? Straight into it mate. Today, we have got a cheeky Brew York Katy Berry. A bit like Katy Perry the singer, but a Katy Perry. They love to do a little play on words, don't they, Brew York? Absolutely, <laughs> so many. Juice Forsyth, Goose Willis, yep. there's some brilliant ones. Mutang Clan. Mutang Clan. <laughs> Which is the yeah, milkshake The, the list goes on. Goes on and on. Rhubarb Streisand, sorry, they're all coming out. Rhubarb Streisand, yeah. that's a classic. Let's stop talking. <laughs> Keep going. Katie Berry, you're yeah. in the spotlight. Katie like Berry, that, so today we picked this up uh, from MK Beer Garden, obviously Milton Keynes, uh, Wolverton. Um, we were in Milton Keynes anyway, so we did a little cheeky little bottle shop stop run. Stop on the way back, yeah. See what they had, and we noticed this was a new one. I wanted to try anyway, or both of us rather. So we did pick it up. And what we've got, as you can see, funky can, love it, love it. We have got today, promised, a blueberry pastry sour coming in at 5.5 .5 on the old Richter. It promises to be fruity, sweet, with a good mouth feel. <laughs> Are you ready for this little? Little bit on the back. It felt so wrong, it felt so right. I drank a sour and I liked it. The taste of a sour berry kick, I drank the sour and I liked it. <laughs> good, good, fun. good fun, good fun, good fun. Obviously, so, Brew York, York based brewer. Who'd have guessed, eh? Yorkshire. Never guessed that one, my old booty. Right. You never know. <laughs> but again, great play of words, Brew York. Yeah? Ooh. We're happy with that. Right. Right, we're going to open her up, but first, my mate Beza is going to tell us why. Firstly, the can was upside down. That wasn't a mistake, by the way. We love a sour. You like to look after a sour. Everything on a sour, everything on most beers sifts to one side, right? And what's the point in drinking something when all the flavour's down the bottom? <laughs> turn it upside down, couple of hours before you get to drink it, 20 minutes before you drink it, turn it the other way. We maybe then give it a little bit of a roll afterwards, but just to get all the sediment and all that fruit puree or real fruit moving around in the can because yeah, nice there's nothing up. worse than pouring something and what you've poured is basically got no flavor in it yeah. believe me it is a thing everyone wants the bottom bit but you want it to be nice and mixed up not too syrupy not too flat not too thin rather but yeah go on then boy i'll let you do the honors oh, lovely job, why mm. not i'll give you a little roly-poly and all that a little special tap just in case we might have a little bit of a funk flying out but see how lively she is no nah, we're all right see? sour Right, Sour so hour. Just through the top of the can, it looks magnificent colour wise. It's lovely, isn't it? Colour. <coughs> well, we'll pastry. let you see that in a minute. Yeah. That, for, first smell from the can is pastry. Buttery pastry. That is a very good start. That is a very good that start. That is buttery pastry case. That is a very good That's, start. I've never actually smelled that on the first right. sniffer before. We try and level these out as much as we can. Obviously, I mentioned the thing about stuff being at the bottom, but with our little shake and turnover, everything should be should have helped out a nicely little bit, incorporated. It's going to try and come in a bit more for the old poor can. Look at the colour. That is beautiful. Going to do a little bit in mine. We're going to swap over back to Paul's glass now. I Paul, like tell them about the glasses, son. Mate, today we've got some Teku glasses. Um, these happen to be wild beer, but just don't worry about that. Just a different brand of beer. But they're basically good for flavour profiles. Wide at the bottom, thinner at the top. Nice flavour profile. Nice for swilling your drink around. Getting nice colours on there. There you go, boy. Yeah, Teku glasses. Really nice. Nice for pretty much any beer. Fancy. Nice. Lovely. Love it. Just chop it in from the top, mate. Don't mind a bit of froth up. I like a little bit of froth on the top, I'm not going to lie. And especially when it looks that good. When the froth turns nearly the colour of, of the drink. Oh, you know. You know, it's really well infused. Pigmentation <laughs> is, uh, <coughs> is prime in this one. So I'm just going to bring it over so you can have a little look-see. Like a pink froth on there. Really nice. Yummy. So let's give it a little smell on the old snozzer. Buttery pastry. That's even oh, more yeah, amplified. 100%. Since you got Cheers, out, I think, I'm not getting the blueberry on the smell. I'm not getting the blueberry on the smell. quite faint anyway, but oh my god, it's really blueberry! Nice. It's really nice. Blueberry's, I can't believe the blueberry. It's quite subtle blueberry, isn't it? So you need a lot of blueberry. Oh my to god, make the pastry there is. Woo wee! That is special, mate. I, I'm sorry to be so excited. Every time I've had a sour, it has blueberries in it. I've never really tasted it. That is blueberry sea and the got the pastry case at the end. That is insane. That is, we thrive for one thing with these sort of beers, right? Nah, that's it insane. could be a really bad sounding beer, okay? But one more important thing that really grinds us, right? Mm. If it says something on the tin and it doesn't deliver that, 
Why it's almost it? void. It's almost void. Yeah. This is blueberry pastry sour. sour. It's got a lovely little tart lick from it. That doesn't come from the blueberries. They've obviously used their sort of baseline sour in there. So sour beer. They've pumped a load of blueberries in there. Absolute shit ton of them. And the pastry buttery is absolutely it. really, really nice. I'm quite, I'm, to I'm be able overly... to smell the pastry as we first discovered, that's, an, that's unheard of for me. I don't know about you, but I don't have drunk as many beers in, but I've never smelled that. The blueberry taste is unbelievable. It's sweet, so, balanced, lovely. Sorry to interrupt you, bud. No, no, we right. did a review before this one, and it was a pastry stout. Yeah. But it was very strong ABV. Mm. It was chocolate. It had very coffee backbone. There was maple going on. Mm -hmm. You couldn't really pick up the pastry. No. And it was boasting to be a pastry stout. Pastry stout. So, you know, this is delivering in that sense. This has got one up on that one as far as I'm concerned. Because it, it's, it's got pastry. Should you go for that V? 100%, go for the big mate. V. The big, Absolutely. The big verdict. The verdict. What is your verdict? You, all right, you asked me first. So, straight away, don't even need to think about this. I'm going to give that 4.7, bang, oh, straight in, straight and in that there. is a flipping high score, it's the highest score I've ever given, reason being, it tastes just like it says in the tin, and the pastry, you close your eyes and drink that, that's like a liquid, blueberry, rich, buttery pastry tart, all day long. Four and a half for me, really like it, that's a good score, again, man. boasts what it says on the tin, just do yeah. what you just do what you say on the tin, it's yeah. so simple, it's really... If you don't do it, don't put it, yeah. easy. It's easy, <laughs> it is literally that easy, right, really happy with that. Mate. Brew York, really good one there. Lovely. Lovely little trip to Beer Garden to get it, so thank you guys as well. Um, Last but not least, what about the old Wubba? Ooh, the Wubba. Would what? you buy again, boy? Would you buy it? Would you buy it again, boy? 100%. I'd probably buy about 10 of these. Getting a double thumbs <laughs> yeah. up. Getting a double thumbs double up for me thumbs as well. Up all this day is long. definitely getting bought again. Mate, thank you very much, Katie Perry. Katie Berry. Katie Berry, <laughs> for legal purposes. Yes. Right, I cheers guys. And I liked it. I loved it. Thank you guys. Sorry about Thank that. Thank you. We had another cheers. good one with the sippers. See yeah. you again next time for another random Thanks beer for watching. review. And I hope you enjoyed it. See you soon. Give us some comments, like, comment, subscribe. Peace out. Peace out.